under an umbrella. Uh, just gonna say, I'm meant to be getting a Mustang back today, and uh, we're we'll walking to the car now. Um, we're meant to be getting a Mustang back today, and they're gonna be driving it in this weather. I'm gonna put money on it that they're gonna smash it. <laughs> I hope the guy is gonna be okay because the car can be replaced. Like, I 100% know that that car is massively unsafe in the rain because it's caught me out a couple of times. But hey, onto the Vauxhall Mocha, which I've actually learned to like, other than this gearbox, which is hopeless, and the start-stop thing that I can't figure out because it just cuts power every time you need to actually go anywhere. So, uh, but yeah, other than that, um, things to note about that mocker. Um, weird thing, my Mustang is better on fuel on the motorway than that thing by five MPG. So for the stats nerds, it's one to keep in mind. So Mustang 35, 40 MPG on the motorway for some reason runs on unicorns and fucking dreams. And this thing 35 and it just hit 35. So a lot of the time it was averaging around 30 on the motorway. I know it's an automatic, but my God, it's not very good on fuel. Um, I did top it up yesterday, but yeah. Mustang is actually more efficient than a Vauxhall Mocha. So you heard that here first. So sun now, just want you to see this. Full on sun. So I'm now dry. Um, just gonna give you a quick update. Just had a phone call from the Mustang people. Uh, the wheel arch liner isn't on there, um, on their delivery. So it's gonna be another couple of days. Naturally, um, I knew that would be the case, I guess. Um, I think they're very, they promise too much too quick and it's just not a thing. They over promise and under deliver or one of those. Um, yeah, kind of gutted, but I kind of like this mocker thing. Um, that's a Land Rover. <laughs> <laughs> maybe um, but yeah I kind of like that thing um, next so so yeah not getting that back today um, next thing they said that this car has been painted before on the other side um, so he's going to send me some pictures he's doing it now he said this many times this Brian chap and he said it many times that he's going to send me pictures normally it's a couple more days <laughs> See, it seems like a really nice guy as well I appreciate the honesty this time um you know, I said that to him, but I need to understand, like for my own peace of mind, I need to understand what has actually been gone on before. Cause he said it's been painted, so he's going to send me some pictures of what's underneath the bumper, see if it's had this work done before. I'm then going to go back to Kazoo by the looks of this. So whether they knew about it or whatever, he said it don't look new, so we'll see. We'll see. This fucking car, man, never ends. With it. So still in the Vauxhall Mocha. Um, just got home, still trucking it down like this morning. And um, yeah, the guy never sent me the pictures. Uh, exactly what we knew would happen. They're still talking nonsense. I haven't been told the truth for like ever through this whole thing. Every single company that is involved lie. Um, I don't know if anyone else who's had these accidents or ha been crashed into has the same situation or it's going through the same thing where no one tells you the truth. Um, most frustrating thing ever. But um, yeah, I'll let you know what happens tomorrow um, with this nonsense. Um, yeah. So last time, potentially, I say this every day now, that we're going to be driving the Vauxhall Mocha to work. Me and the lovely Ruby. First thing in the morning, <coughs> cold start. Watch all the warning lights come on. So the oil has gone back to being correct. This doesn't fit in the cup holder, but um, should be getting the car back today. But every, t every chance Brian has got, that really hurts since the accident, every chance Brian has got, he lies. So chances are we probably won't even have a Mustang by the time he returns it to us. Um, but yeah, steers in uh, Dartford or wherever it is, that's who that is. So I now know who the garage is that's working on the car. On to work.
<laughs> I wasn't kidding about the fuel. Look at that. In 16 miles, it's done a quarter of a tank of fuel. This thing is not good on fuel. Like, uh, I know it's an automatic, but my God, 16 miles and it's done a quarter of a tank. So I'll be returning a rental car with no fuel in it, which is like the cardinal sin, right? But yeah, um, enjoy. Um, 18 days since the accident. And uh, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> I'm getting better at uh, actually showing you with the front facing camera what I'm actually trying to film. It's hard. It's not the same as a fucking goat, bro. Like, uh, yeah. So they're taking it back with a load of shit on it. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Um, right, there we go. So, uh, the guy didn't actually, uh, there we go. The guy didn't actually get back to me yesterday. Uh, didn't get my car yesterday, as promised, again. Uh, got a picture that I'm gonna show you now. And I'm, I got an admit, admission so that picture is meant to prove that it was resprayed before. Um, that line, that circle, is actually drawn on by them. So that's uh, not the most accurate or descriptive picture or shows fucking anything. So uh, what do I do with that information? Um, <laughs> like, that's meant to show that it's been resprayed before. That, that circle, what the fuck does that even show? I'm now gonna show you the admission of what they did wrong last week. So this this uh, email that they sent me is what they fixed since last trying to give me back the car. So apparently I'm getting back, getting the car back today. Um, we're gonna check all of these issues if they are not fixed and if it comes back like a shambles just like last time, I'm giving it straight back to them again. Um, not thrilled about this, uh, not thrilled about the contact and I'm not thrilled about the pictures they just sent with that fucking circle on it. Um, what is that meant to prove? Fucking no. Poor workmanship. Steer in Dartford. Fucking dreadful. Admiral, I haven't heard anything since. Um, they've just gone dead on me. Admiral Law, nothing for a week. And they haven't w messaged back on the uh, system. The message is still unread. It's, it's a week in. A week since that last message. Um, the fuel in the, uh, in the mocha. So we're averaging less than 20 on the motorway which is nowhere near as good as the Mustang. How mad is that? Um, yeah, so we're on our way to work. I'll keep you updated and I'll let you know as soon as I get this uh, car. I want my Mustang back. I can't be dealing with these slow things anymore. I need my Mustang. Uh, done with it, but yeah, that was the email and that was the uh, picture that they sent as proof of a respray previously. So I don't think Kazoo would accept that and I don't think any sort of lawyer would accept that circle picture as proof of a respray so dissatisfied thumbs down cheerio i got the car back there it is guess what still scratched and more scratches so we got this one right on the place where they said they would fix it it's still there like along the top they've got some of the respray off of that but that's that so we got under here and we got it's better, new new arch liner on there now, so it doesn't do that. The bump is actually fitted, which is a good start. So I just run around with this. So this is good, this is good. We got the other arch liner, it's now clipped in, which is good. We got that there, that's good. Okay, we got this now. So we can see this. You see it on the other video that that wasn't there, right? So we're filming as well. Yeah, no, I'm not filming, <laughs> I'm taking pictures. <laughs> so just on the side of the door. So that obviously wasn't there before. We got it on the, on the car review that it wasn't there before. 
so we've got one scratch here the light is still scratched at the bottom but I just can't be fucked with this anymore and across here right where they've just been painting because they painted over dirt last time so they this was right on the corner here and they got a scratch so to paint this and then they scratch this so it's still fucked <laughs> um, I'll take it back but again the fuck is going on with this man we did take it back they're going to come out and do them two scratches um, they're going to fix the two scratches that were, are literally on the eye line of exactly right where they were working and they said they would fix it how do you not see it it's literally right in the eye line of where you'll be working one right where they circled that thing and they told me that and right one right on the bumper that they've literally just painted and a scratch that you can put your fingernail in and drag it so steer dartford not good not good at all the staff lovely really polite really nice um i, I haven't spoken to anyone there who's <laughs> seems like they're doing bad or think they're doing bad or trying to scam you but like the service they provide so far has been crap um so i'm gonna go back to admiral speak to admiral and say it's still not fucking done <laughs> but i paid the 850 quid i got the car back um bumpers on now so the bumpers actually on the car and um don't don't get crashed into by a truck um lesson learned finally leaving work um i get my first drive back in the mustang <sighs> One second. Here we go. God, fuck me. Been a while since I heard that sound. <laughs> ah, key battery low, like I told you. And they gave me a nice call to let me know that, rather than just change a one pound battery. <laughs> ah, people. So, we can see how far they've gone. They didn't put any fucking petrol in it, which is what they said they would do. It's still, hang on, we'll, we'll put this light on so I can have a little chat with you. All right, so they told me, steers in Dartford, they told me that they would put petrol in it. As you can see, it's not on what they, I gave it to them with. Like, I've been consistently lied to by them fuckers the entire way through. That's a quarter of a tank. Now I gave it to him on three quarters, you saw the pictures, I'm just being fucking lied to, like this place is just driving me fucking bonkers. So, yeah, there we go, that's how many miles they did, they've done over 200 miles in my car, over 200 miles to fix a fucking rear wing and a bumper, twice. How the fuck? Do you do need to do 200 and something miles to fix a fucking wing? Very, very pissed off, man. Um, gutted. I've got all these notifications popping up on here. Look at this. Park pilot malfunction. 17th of the 11th. So whatever they've done... <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked my fucking parking thing up. I'm done. I'm absolutely done. I'm, you're finding this out as I'm finding it out. So it's got a notification on here. Park pilot malfunction. Park pilot is on the rear bumper. So you, the bumper's come off and they've fucking done something. All right, let's have a look. Cheers, Steers in Dartford, and cheers, Admiral, for recommending this fucking bullshit garage of, like, Admiral-approved repairers. Look at the fucking state of this car. Like, consistently lied. Consistently lied to. Awesome. Drive home now. So you can watch this with me. My new park pilot. Look at this. And this is where they fucking done something. I'm putting it in reverse. 
I'm done. I'm absolutely done. The camera's like dropped. So we're gonna have to have a little walk outside. Look at this. I'm fucking done with this garage, man. We're gonna have a So, after a long, hard day. Just cover my whole face with your beard. <laughs> After a, don't get the spilled beer down my head. After a long, hard, hard day. <laughs> cold day? A I'm cold, this long right up. day. <laughs> After a cold, long, hard day <laughs> of uh, not alcohol, of work. And uh, how was your day? Boring. How was your day? Very boring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my day got better. <laughs> and, uh, so after that, we come uh, back to the car. The car's now broken. <laughs> um, thank, thanks to thanks to in Dartford, useless bunch of mugs, and uh, yeah, I'm having a fucking terrible time with that. But it's okay now because I got beer. We're in a converted church, so that's cool, and uh, we're gonna enjoy our meal. So uh, cheers. <laughs>